What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my football manager save. This is episode number 85. And today we're returning with two biggest games since we've joined Borussia Dortmund as we face Bayern Munich away in the second era classic era of the season and then Leverkusen at home where our title dreams are still alive with six games to go. Before we get to the games though, shut the door for me getting on off camera. And of course, in the last episode, you saw our 4-0 win against Freiburg and then the 3-0 victory away at the Versa Stadion. Three games off camera, and as you'll see, the unbeaten run continues, but the winning run did end. And we started with Revenge, a 5-1 win against Augsburg, the first team to prevent us winning this season. Uh, we battered them here at home by five goals to one. All five goals coming in the first half. Uh, Giovanni Reina bagged the Braves. Luca Romero got one. Company got one. And uh, the Dragon scored this lovely goal from about 20 yards as well. His first of the year in a, uh, a big 5-1 victory and whilst we lost our clean sheet in the second half we still held on for the win and the following game was a 2-0 win away against Wolfsburg, uh, Araujo scoring really the either end of the game here, uh, right for the break, tapping in after a good save to make it 1-0, heading into the dressing room and then with 9 minutes to go he wraps up his second goal of the season as he goes for the golden boot, but our final game was a slip up and our winning run ended after 11 straight, yep, goal is home to Hoffenheim, God knows how we didn't win this this game and we absolutely dominated had a disallowed goal through company as well we we dominated the game and it was so frustrating to not find that one goal they would have seen us get the win and it was made even more frustrating by knowing this Bayern slipped up on that weekend now they're still undefeated but they drew and it means had we found a winning goal we would have cut the gap to two which means I mean I know I play a devil's advocate here but basically if we were to win this game against Bayern if we won that game against Hoffenheim we'd actually go a point clear with five games to go so, yeah, a little bit frustrated we couldn't find a winner against Hoffenheim, but we're still in this title race. Six games to go. I think now third is probably the lowest we would finish with Leverkusen six points behind, but four points behind Bayern. It's not over yet. Six games to go, but we need to be perfect, and someone's got to beat Bayern Munich. Not just us, but someone else as well. And I just want to let you know, we have had a youth intake, my first one with Borussia Dortmund, and it was actually okay, to be fair. Uh, we've got a decent youngster uh, that came through. Um, is it going to show one? Oh, yeah, here we are. Uh, Kai Norman Wagerman uh, looks pretty decent. Nice little playmaker going forward uh, with 15 determination, 18 flair, 15 vision, 15 techniques. Not bad on a 15-year-old. And uh, we also had a couple of other players that look pretty decent as well. They're about to sign new deals, I think. Or they, I don't know if they have signed new deals, sorry. But uh, they did look okay. But uh, for the most part, Kai Norman uh, looks the best so far from our youth intake. Everyone else, not that great. Even so, uh, heading into the first game then, it is indeed the Der Klassiker away against Bayern Munich. Nobody has beaten them this season. They're going for an invincible year, but we still believe we could possibly dethrone them and win the title. If we're going to do that, though, only a win will do. A draw for Bayern, and it's basically their title to lose from here on out. Right now, in the injury report, we've had a few players going down off camera. McAtee is still nursing a little knock. Other than that, he's okay. And uh, for now, everyone is fit enough to start in what will be our 4 2 3 1. It's been wielding us the results we've needed this season. So, Cabell is in gold, but for his net, Schlotterbeck, Creswell, and Bradley, uh, Dragon, and Norskan are our DMGO, with company on the left, Romero on the right, and Reina supporting Enrique Araujo. On the bench, you've got Olszewski, Moulon, Stridi, Morton, Santos, Vima, Obradovich, McAtee, and Brunner as well. First to two, it's our second Dera Classica, Bayern away, where only a win keeps us in the title race. Come on, Dortmund. I think we can do it. You know, I, I, I really do. I think we can do it. So I'm going to say to the boys here with my uh, my hands together, we are the underdogs, but that suits us. Go and cause a few surprises on Enrique. Oh, do you remember that miss in the first half against Bayern when it was tied at 0-0, ran through 1-1 and put it straight at Diogo Costa? Oh, he's been having nightmares about that ever since it happened. Well, you can redeem yourself today, Enrique, with a winning goal here away at the Allianz. But it's Bayern having the first chance of the game. As the corner is headed away, but not fully clear. Joshua Kimmich, long serving, finds Mars. Oscar with a tackle, and Araujo picks it up, and we work our way forward. Again, only a win will do. A draw, and it's Bayern's title with five games to go and a six-point gap. Oscar to the Dragon, and now Reina back to Charlie. And Creswell to Oscan as we work our way forward. Araujo slides through company. Anthony, the Spaniard, tackled by Delit, And Upacano clears... 
Once again, for the second game in a row against Barnum, we got a chance on a one-on-one, -on -one and we spurned it. You can't miss the rare chances you'll get against Bayern Munich. Rainer over the bar. Good start, though, to be fair. So I will praise the boys from this start, but we really should have taken that chance. Romero, dispossessed. hudson Adoy down the left. Slides through Mars, and Kimmich is arriving and fires just wide. As we're still deadlocked. To be fair, though, good start this from Dortmund. Going out there, putting the pressure on Bayern early. But Bayern still tied at 0-0. And they will definitely take this result just to keep us at bay. Luca to company. And Anthony has the dragon with him. And Mia Drag hits it straight across. A very good start this, I'll be honest. Much better than I was expecting. Dragon, good tackle. And Connor Bradley finds Creswell. Uh, Schlotterbeck takes over. 23 minutes into the game, and Dortmund haven't just got a foothold in this game. We're playing on the front foot. This is very encouraging. Nice build up there as Luca goes down the left hand side. Nets to company inside the area. Man in the middle. Rainer. The lit clears it away from six yards out. Going to encourage the boys. This, this is a brilliant first half display. This is a really, really good first half here. We're still tied at 0 0. We're still deadlocked. But if someone's going to break the deadlock here, you put your money on us. We need to find a winner. And company's just gone down. Typical. Right, McAtee on. We'll swap Rainer out to the left-hand side. And we shall take it from there. Anthony missed a great chance early. But he's been one of our best players this season. So, frustrating to miss him. And now we'll need to find a winning goal without our wonder kid Spaniard. Connor Bradley to Romero. And he's closed down with a three-man press there and Bayern win it back. Mars over the top. Hudson Adoy in behind Luca Nett here, the former Chelsea man. Wits wants to far post to flex to Mars. Abreu off the bar. And Nett clears it away. Surely someone's gonna win this, but it could go either way here. And that is gonna do it for the first half in the Dera Classic era. No, it's not. Because we're three minutes into the Oh, Musiala hits the post and Romero clears it away. Well, well, the ref gave Bayern one late chance here. I'm in the fourth officials here walking down the touchline. I don't speak much German, but I'm sure he gets the gist of what I'm saying. Where did that extra minute come from? But I'm going to say to the boys here, I'm going to say to the boys, pumping my fists, pumping my fists. The pundits might not believe in us today, but the fans do. So go and do them proud. Second half to begin. And I think we can win this here. I think we can win this. We'll need to find a winner. Otherwise, with five games to go, it's surely Bayern's title. The question is, will their dominance show their class in the second half? Musiala, who scored in the reverse fixture, dispossessed by Schlotterbeck, and Araujo holds it up. Great first touch by Enrique, but he's got a, a wave of red shirts to beat in the middle, as he does really well, but then loses out to the lit. I, I, think, I think Bayern are going to win this in the second half, or will nick it later on. One of the two, Mars. Through to Musiala, the game winner in the reverse fixture. Here's Joshua Kimmich down the right-hand side. Good tackle by Luka Nets, but Kimmich keeps holding the ball. Musiala's in the middle. And just like in the reverse fixture, he scores early into the second half to break the deadlock. It's a game where I feel we've been on top, despite buying it, it would work twice. And now we trail by a goal. Jamal Musiala, still there, still as good as ever. And he might well have just secured the title for Bayern. Oh man, so frustrating. There was a spell in the first half where we were on top and we were doing really well. But this is Bayern Munich. This is the 18-time champions in a row that are now going to win it 19 in a row. If anyone was going to catch Bayern, it was going to be us. But they are undefeated through 28 and it now be 29. There's levels to this. This is the level we aspire to be on. But we're not there yet. Musiala gets his second. It's game. It's title. Bayern Munich win 19 in a row. I feel like the game kind of changed on that Anthony company injury. I mean, we were doing so well until the young Spaniard was forced off. And after that, Bayern took this game by the scruff of its next. But to be fair here, we're away at the Allianz against an undefeated Bayern Munich side. So we're putting a good performance like that and a really good opening half an hour. I I've got to say to the boys here, with my hands together, I'm proud of your efforts. It wasn't to be today. It wasn't to be, but we knew we were massive underdogs heading into this game, let alone this season. Lads, heads up, Bayern are going to win it again, but that was to be expected. We go again next season. Now let's just finish the campaign off strong. And we're going to finish the season off without Anthony Company, it seems, as well. Out for three to four weeks. He should come back for the final couple of games, but that's uh, a big blow there. 
for one of the most creative players, not just in the team, but also in the division as well. Shame, shame, but um, there we go. Uh, undefeated run ends after 15, but again, is it any surprise who it comes against? We're just not at that level. They are a level above. Put the engraving on the trophy now, it's theirs again. Right, let's go. Second and final game of today's episode. And uh, by the way, we have got such a bright future. There's some great youngsters here, but also this, this young striker that I loaned out to Mainz, he's absolutely tearing it up. 16 goals in 25 for Mainz right now in the Bundesliga. He'll be coming back to us next season. Um, it'll be a backup for Araujo, don't get me wrong, but he's had an amazing year for Mainz. And uh, a big reason why, they still have a very slim chance of making a European place. Anyway, heading into the game, it's it's now a battle for the silver medal. Bayern are just beating Union Berlin away. So they're now 10 points clear. So it's, I mean, it's done. We know it's done. And they're pretty much certainly going to be undefeated now because the fixture they've got. I think they still got Leverkusen, though, haven't they? They're still got Leverkusen? Uh, no, they've got Leipzig. That's probably their toughest game remaining. But I think they're going to do it undefeated now as Bayern Munich lay down the gauntlet in my first year in charge of Dortmund. So, yeah, we're three points clear of Bayern Leverkusen, but the, uh, with five games to go. If they do win, they'll cut it to goal difference. But we're now battling for that silver medal, that runners up place to Bayern Munich. So. There we go. Heading into the game, uh, I'm going to make two changes due to the company injury. Uh, so Cabell's in goal, back four is now Netsch, Lotter back, Croswell and Stridi coming in at right back. Uh, the Dragon and Oscan once again, Dion Gio, Vimmer on the left, Romero on the right, and Reyna once again supporting Araujo. On the bench, Olszewski, Mulan, Bradley, Morton, Santos, Obradovic, McAtee, Brunner, and Maximovic as well. Second and final game, Leverkusen at home. Chance to get revenge after we lost at the Bay Arena, but really, we're not too fussed now. See our footballs in the bag. Let's just finish the season strong. Yeah, we can't be caught now. Um, we are currently... I oh know Schalke have a game in hand. Okay, if you, if you really want to play devil's advocate, we could possibly be caught. But um, it's it's basically impossible, really, for us to now drop out of the top four. So, yeah, our job is done. You know, we wanted to get uh, Dortmund back in the Champions League. We've done that. And again, now it's just all about finishing the season strong. And that is not what I wanted to see. Two players on Knox and a Dragon getting forced off as well. Typical. Interestingly enough, we're uh, currently at this current pace due to set a new points record with Borussia Dortmund, which will eclipse the amount of points they got in the 2012 season. And yet it still won't be good enough for the title. If there's ever a season that sums up the Bundesliga right now in this save, it is definitely my first one in charge of Dortmund. We're due to set a points record, and yet we're still going to be runners-up by some distance to an undefeated Bayern Munich side. It's extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. I don't know how we're ever going to be able to dethrone them. So this season, I said the top two teams in Germany are Bayern and Leverkusen. And in our four fixtures against them, it's played four, one zero, drawn one, lost three. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, and we know goal was scored as well. No doubt about it. We, are, uh, we, we might end up finishing runners up to Bayern, but I still believe we are... Right next to Leverkusen in terms of quality, but not better than them, that's for sure. Goal is draw, so we'll stay clear of them. Stoic goes down with two-week injuries, so not a big deal there for the Dragon as we end the season off. Champions League football is, uh, is in the bag now, we know that for sure. But hopefully we can finish the season strong on the back of no wins in our last two games. It, it, it basically kind of sums up how I saw this season going, really. It, it definitely does. Like You look at the fixtures here... The games we lost against, Bayern and Leverkusen and, uh, and Bayern, our three, our three defeats. And in the games we drew, okay, Hoffenheim, Leipzig, Mainz and Augsburg as well, to be fair. But also Leverkusen too. So this season has gone pretty much exactly how I expected it. But that will end today's episode of the Football Manager State. So a big thank you for watching. Enjoy it if you haven't been like, You'll have a fantastic day. And we'll return with the finale. There's four games to go. And now it's just all about making sure we hold on to that runners-up medal, that silver medal, if you will, as we know Bayern have basically won the title with four games remaining. Have a great day, much love, and we'll come back with the final game, which will be Eintracht Frankfurt away, as we aim to wrap up a record points haul, even though it will still be a runners-up medal, and also a finish, a strong finish, heading into that final day. Great day, much love, and I'll see you for the next episode, the finale, very soon.